Just doing a quick visual check inside the engine bay to make sure that there are no fluids, in particular oil and coolant leaks. The plan is that we'll come out of the marina and out of the channel, past the peninsula, probably head out to around about somewhere here, and then just turn around and head back in. As you can see, there's not much chance of any wind here today, but that's not important because this is essentially a test of the engine. Once we're underway, I'll be able to come below every five or ten minutes or so and just check that there are no leaks, there's nothing underneath the engine in the bilge area. Yes, uh, thanks. We would like assistance in departing from Ponto B56, please. Over. Thank you. This is ABC standing by on 73. Right, we've got this line. Kind of excited, kind of nervous. Should be fine. We're just going to test it to the end of the peninsula. And if something goes wrong, we're in radio distance for assistance. Mariner over on the way. Behind me is a proper super yacht, it's not a motor yacht, it's got sails and we're going to take a look at it this afternoon when we get back. Can't wait! Kaz is ramping up the engine slightly. the engine working and to be out on the water even though we're not sailing today we're just testing the engine we're just motoring just for a little while but it's so great I can't express to you how good that feels <laughs> about 20 minutes now so we'll give it another 20 minute run there's a little bit of a leak on the expansion tank and I think that is coming from the actual hose connection so I'm gonna to have to have a quick look at that hose connection but apart from that it's looking good isolated danger point. What we might do is, because we've never done it before, is go around that island, the little islet over here, 
and uh, go around that instead. That's Turkish, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> It must be a normal drive because we're 2,400 revs mm. and we're doing 7.2 knots, so that's normal. It's decent speed, isn't it? Yeah. More decent. Look at that. It's kind of quite smoky. Yeah, a little bit of white smoke, but certainly nothing to be concerned about. Obviously, uh, we'll check the oil level when we get back. But it sounds alright, doesn't it? It does. That uh, rattling up here is just the slot here, it's not the engine. That island there is that, and that's what we're going to go around. Holy seagulls! Sometimes from a distance, they look like boys. <laughs> They're definitely birds. This seagull's playing chicken. Looks like somebody's dumped a whole heap of stuff in the water. Gross. That's the island that we're going around. And that island there is Greek. So we're going to be very sure that we stay in Turkish waters. And that line is showing the boundary between Turkey and Greece. So that's the uh, Greek island, but we're just going around here. So, long way away. Don't want to cause any international incidents today, Bats. No, I'll do my best. <laughs> happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Um, yeah. Relieved, that's the word, yeah, the word. relieved. Yeah, I kind of felt that before, I had a bit of a moment. <laughs> a lot of debris in the water today, lots and lots of floaty debris. So I'm just keeping an eye out for that because uh, some of it looks as though it might foul the prop if you accidentally ran over it. Yeah. Somebody must have dumped something. I think that's what those seagulls were sitting on, actually. <laughs> some kind of buoy over there, look. Definitely not a seagull. Yeah, <laughs> I can tell that. Oh, okay. When you see the mountains from this distance, you, you really get a good perspective on how tall they actually are. way back now. So we've got 2,000 revs and we're doing a very nice six knots speed over ground. Oh, it's almost forgotten how gorgeous it is. <laughs> <laughs> Out on the water. <laughs> oh, even with the engine running, you know, it's just something about the fresh air and being on the elements and the sun and the sea and birds and looking at the land from a different perspective. And this is 26th of November and we're out here in shorts and t-shirts. Yeah. Right. Okay, we're probably going to get some people saying, oh, you didn't bring your fenders in. Captain, tell us why. The reason why we left the fenders out was because this is an engine test. And if the engine had failed, then we'd have to call for assistance. And the last thing I want to think about is putting the fenders out. So the fenders stayed out in case we needed to get towed back in. Anyone was going to come alongside, either side. The fenders were already there. One less thing to think about. Luckily, the test has gone very well. We're, uh, 
6.1 knots at 2000 RPM. The temperature is rock steady at 80 degrees. There's the isolated danger, and there's the isolated danger marker. It actually gets quite shallow, uh, although it's about 15 to 20 metres in depth here, so that's fine for us. I think that's Claire, Elaine and Bridget. <laughs> How cool is that? Hi ladies! Bang on for the leading light, so if we were coming in at night, this is green. If, as long as we can see green, we know we're on the right course. If we're heading towards that red sector, then we, we know we're not, not meant to be there. So, uh, yeah, nice leading light for coming in at night. We've had a lovely trip out testing the engine today and I've thoroughly enjoyed being on the water as I've already said and I hope that you've enjoyed coming along with us. We've put lots of sights and sounds in there for you. Our adventures are going to begin again. <laughs> Yay! Because we have a gory folding prop which goes into overdrive if we've got too much way going backwards. That can be an issue when we're trying to stop at a pontoon. So Baz just reverses in very, very slowly, obviously fast enough that he's still got control, but you have to really think about how you're going to do it rather than just go in and then slam it into forward to slow yourself down, as you can with most props. Marino is very patiently waiting for us. But you know what they say, slow is pro. So, throw a line. So, Baz has now got to get that back in, attached to them. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gazelle like. Gazelle like. Get the old bungee cords on. And we're home. <laughs> Yay! I'd like to say that was a success. All good. No one died. And the engine functioned really well. And Kev's going to say, I told you so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kev. Cheers, mate. Now we've got a turbo that's now functioning. We have a fully functioning turbo. Yes. That's not seized, that's not been cut off, that's now actually brand new and in there. Yep. Um, how long do you think we need to let it cool down? Uh, the truthful answer is I don't know. Um, nobody's actually explained that to me. But I would imagine that we, we dropped the revs right down as we came to the beginning of the pontoons and we were doing, I think, two and a half knots. So we weren't having many revs at all. I think the only final bit that I'm a bit confused about is the amount of reverse thrust that I've got to put on to get the boat to the right position on the pontoon for the back end to be tied off correctly for the pont uh, passerelle to reach the pontoon. So, I don't know, I guess we wait for five minutes that, that tick over? Yeah, long enough for a kettle to boil for a cup of coffee, do you think? <laughs> we'll get the electricity on right now. Oh, thanks, gymnast. Look, isn't he good? See, this, this is what I love about the boating community. Your neighbours help out. <laughs> Sweet, <laughs> <Yeah>. thanks. <laughs> Call that a success, Baz. We won. <laughs> it's really hot because it's so pale. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the level's about here, isn't it? Yeah. Where my thumb is. Yeah. yeah. So that's where it was when we topped off the oil with fresh oil. And it's still a good colour. Yeah. So very happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> We're being distracted. Yeah. There's a little local dog here that's wanting our attention. Yeah, because <laughs> there's no one else around. No. No, we it's are empty. sitting on the terrace of Alps Wine House in the marina. Mm -hmm. uh, tables and chairs are still here, but the restaurant is closed. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, the curfew restrictions in Turkey have uh, said to restaurants you can only do takeaways or deliveries, 
and a lot of the restaurants have just said well there's not enough money in that for us mm -hmm. so we're just going to close down completely mm -hmm. um, talking about closing down we're also going to be closing down for four weeks yes the last two weeks in December and the first two weeks in January 2021 yeah and the reason why we're doing that is because last week's new patron Alan Jacobson sent us off on a little bit of a tangent with regards to uh, a playlist that we can put together and we just had a lot of conversations with him thought it was a great idea but it's a lot of work and we simply don't have enough hours in the week to produce our weekly video and get this big playlist together Yeah, because it means sifting through all of our back videos yeah. and pulling out bits. relevant bits of information that's going to be really um, it's going to be a really good playlist I, I think reckon. so too yeah, yeah. it's a great idea yeah, but we need the time we do and talking about patrons our newest patron that to welcome on board is Adrian Hill yes welcome Adrian ah. it's great to have you aboard it certainly welcome is. to our family yeah <laughs> um, so the plan for this four-week holiday apart from going Flying through the old footage no there'll be none of that <laughs> no there'll be none of that putting our feet up no there'll be none of that okay no. Just going to be work, work, work. <laughs> Within the parameters of the Turkish curfew uh, hours, we'll also be renting a car. Lying in. <laughs> <laughs> we'll rent this car and we'll go and visit and film um, some of the places we want to visit locally to here within the parameters uh, yeah. of, of where we can travel to. So we will be doing quite a lot during those four weeks. Yep. And, um, and it's all for you. Yep. All of it's for you. <laughs> Plus, we're going to have some fun as we discover some new places that we haven't been to before. Yeah. Locally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so right now, what we'll do is wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and all the best for 2021. Let's hope it's a bit different from 2020. Yes. Well, if you're into astrology like I am, kind of on the sidelines, there are some very interesting alignments happening and they do hold the potential they show the potential for some really good new developments so let's see how that pans out i, d I don't mind stars aligning <laughs> it's the worlds colliding that get me <laughs> now there won't be any of that no. so stay safe and healthy yep and we'll see you in 2021 yay <laughs>